Oi oi my drillers, it's your geezer, Big Donny Cow, or Resane, and today I'm going to quickly go over a Demonology Warlock PvP guide. Woo! And let's just move my mic over a little bit closer. Hey, there we go, there we go, that's definitely you. Anyway, right, first of all, stats. What do we want? We want Verse, Haste, Mastery, Crit. Intellect, of course, Biss, up top, up top, yeah, cool. Just work, work your gear and enchants and gems around that. Uh, just be smart about it, experiment, you know. Uh, of course, 30 percent the break point, you know, you should know that by now. But the main thing I'm going to go over here is talents, right? PvP talents, of course, taking Master Summoner, Instant Dreads, Phil Obelisk, more damage to your demons and whatnot, increased cast speed, uh, attack speed, whatever, amazing. Uh, cool Fell Hunter for the spell lock, yeah, great, cool. You can also just run stuff like Observer and Fell Lord. Uh, Fell Lord's great for keeping melee off you, Observer's great for telling casters they can't play the game, you know, amazing spell, love it. Never reward, always always nice to have a good spell reflect, especially if you're playing playing against, I don't know, another demonology wall you're stealing power safe and boom, send the demon bolts right back at them, you know, lovely stuff. And uh yeah, uh of course all, all the other talents you can just play with as you see fit, to be fair. I don't think there's a bad talent here. All, all of these PvP talents you can work in in one way or another. Um as for main talents, uh definitely want fell domination. I don't go with Fell Pact because I do still have the Conduit that um, reduces cooldown on Fell Dom. And anyway, games are short at the moment. Like, you don't you don't need reduced cooldown. Your demon probably won't die more than once in a game. And if it... Even so, like, it rarely dies. Demonic Circle must have, of course, taken, taken quite a lot of these points just for extra tankiness, you know. Get on Mortal Coil as usual. More, more health, um, this Soul Shard one's quite nice. Um, I think I'm actually going to swap to stronger defensives because, uh, you know, as I say, the games are short at the moment. You don't need the cooldown reduction. You just need big, meaty defensives. So, yeah. Of course, running with Dark Pact, very lovely. Um, I've also decided to run with a Soul Conduit just to get uh, soul shards back which is going to feed into a talent i'm going to talk about a bit more later on but also demonic resilience you know like your pet ain't gonna die with this up anyway that all this stuff should keep you alive um as for demonology talents in general of course your dreads your dread lash whatnot you know just a lot of stuff to buff your dreads this is what i mean mainly by wanting soul conduit you know more soul shards to spam and hand of gold done gonna be great increased damage if you're dread stalkers because let me tell you dread bite is going to be one of your biggest damaging spells in arena uh curse of doom is always nice put it on everything just note that if you're against a class that will be dispelling a lot yeah you're going to be able to take a lot of their mana away by just spamming doom on everything but you can also be inventive and throw these dooms on like pets and whatnot so just remember that especially if it's uh you know even get really creative and throw it on a kevin zoosling or something just anything power siphon great for the demon bolt you know got quite a lot of talents here which are just buffing our demon bolt and buffing our dread stalkers really taken grimra felguard nice little stun bit of extra damage you know demonic strength of course just an instant uh damaging spell you could probably get away with playing without it though but i've chosen to go with it tyrant it ain't great okay I was trying with Sir, uh, Reign of Tyranny, it sucked. It did no damage. It like, a fully amped Tyrant, I got the Tyrant to be like fourth place on my meters. I think that was even behind just my regular Felguard's attacks. Tyrant sucks. Just use it to extend your demons. You wanna, if you wanna keep the pressure going on your Grimoire Felguard and your Dreadstalkers, extend it, you know? The main reason I've taken Tyrant here is to get to sacrifice souls. I've got two routes, Tyrant or Never Portal. I'm not going to get use out of Never Portal. Maybe I will, I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a test, but for now I'm going to take the Tyrant as it's the bog standard choice and what I've been used to for so long. Just sacrifice souls, oh, that is nuts. And having the Tyrant out with sacrifice souls does just mean more demons. Never know though, I might experiment by using both. But um... Yeah, that, that's just my generic setup so far. 
Um, as for Covenants, strongly recommend Necrolord for the Decimating Bolt. Make use of it before it's uh, gone from the game forever. Um, conduits, yeah, as I say, like, all, all, most of these finesse conduits don't work. The only one that works is the Fell Domination cooldown one, so, which is why I haven't taken the talent. Uh, as for your Endurance, you know, the Animus Sphere has always been good, and your Endurance banner, ba Barrier, very good. That's why we don't go into the talent route to take this as well. As for Potency, Born of Blood, kind of for a Stalker's Fell Commando, you know, more tankiness and damage from your Fell Guard, more um, Dreadstalker damage, and more uh, Demon Core procs. Um, yeah, that pretty much is it. If you want to know rotation, it really is... Um, it's more of a priority, I guess. You want to put Doom out on everything. You want to get your four stacks and maintain it for as long as possible with casting Shadow Bolt. You should cast Shadow Bolt four times within 20 seconds and then maintain it by with one cast every 20 seconds. You want to uh, get your dread Dreadstalkers out as much as possible. If I show you the damage breakdown for... Let's see if I can get a good arena. Well, I absolutely destroyed people instead of where I lost. Yeah, look here. Dread, dread Bite is just insane damage. If you look at my breakdown here, like, yeah, as you can see, Tyrant sucks at the moment. It's a good bit of passive damage, you know, when you press the cooldown and whatnot. But yeah, it's Dread Bite, which is just throwing out all the big hits pretty consistently. And then you can get still massive Demon Bolts. I think the highest crit I've had so far is a 31k Demon Bolt. Sure, it's nothing on Enhanced Shames like 65k plus Elemental Blast, but ayo, it's still really good, especially seeing as we can get these off pretty frequently. Um, and yeah, the way to best uh, buff your Demon Bolt to get these fat crits, you want to get Decimating Bolt out, you want 4 stacks of the Shadow Bolt buff, and you want Power Siphon, and you also want to throw out some Dreadstalkers just before, then you throw out your demon bolts. Those are going to be the strongest demon bolts you're going to throw out. Uh, as for Hand of Gul'dan, just use that to uh, empower your Dreadstalkers. You know, you spend Soul Shards and Hand of Gul'dan. Gives you stacks up to 30 to increase the power of your Dreadstalkers. Demon Strength, just uh, use it off cooldown, really. Um, especially you want to use it with Felguard if you want to get the most out of it, you know. You want to have um, Grimoire Felguard extended by Tyrant with Demonic Strength going out uh, after that. Although I do believe Demonic Strength's bugged at the moment, so hopefully there'll be a bug fix for it soon. And when that does start working properly, that's going to be doing crazy damage and applying so much pressure. Anyway, that really is it. Um, you know, of course, oh yeah, defensive usage. You know, remember, you got Circle, which you now get damage reduction um, from using Circle. You've got an Ending Resolve as a flat wall you can have. Really, really strong as well. You've got Dark Packs. Don't be scared to just use this. Make the shield. It's great. Um, and then, of course, Mortal Coil gives you some health back. Fleshcraft and Demonic Gateway. All great. You can run with uh, Night Fair if you want. Up to you. You know, you can get there you can use naya you can use dreamweaver i don't think you can use any of the other covenants though because they're shit legendaries just take wilfred's and unity you know this is my current setup like i'm i'm not even fully pvp geared and i'm blasting but i can just run in with pve gear just bear in mind like it's pre-patch everything's scuffed blizzard don't really care about balancing this and yeah that is what it is anyway guys thanks for watching Good luck having some fun in pre-patch with Demonology. And if any other builds come out, I'll keep you posted in the Discord and down below. Come follow our socials and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Alright. Peace.